Hello. Welcome to Meow Club. Today I'm reviewing an iPhone game called Slay. And as you can see it's got about 300 million levels. And there's uh they've all got different difficulties. Let's try one Decile. Okay, so Slay is like a turn based strategy game. Um you can see the light green squares are territories which belong to me. If the village has got a flag it means I can buy more units and as you can see I can take over adjacent squares which aren't occupied by enemies or guarded by enemies. Now if I expand my territory like this I'll gain more revenue each turn which will allow me to buy more men so let's just take over as much land as possible in this turn um, let's go here now where my guys are standing they'll guard all adjacent spaces unless somebody gets a stronger warrior to sort of bully them out I'll just show you what happens if I try to take over a village here. See, they don't like that, so. Okay, so I've. In the, on the map, you can see um, I've got no more flashing red dots, so there's no more moves, so I'm going to end my turn. You can see all the enemies are taking their turns, and now it's my turn again. So, <coughs> if I combine two of my men, they'll turn into a barbarian and then they can destroy a village like that or kill other guys. So I've got two barbarians now, let's go here and... So as you can see I'm always trying to join territories together to make them bigger. <coughs> okay, that's the end of turn two. Okay. One of the nasty things about this game is you can often wake up at the when you've pressed end turn sometimes you wake up and all your men have died because somebody's done something sneaky and destroyed them all. But it hasn't happened yet. You get trees here. Um trees grow on graves and um if you sort of don't step on the land for a while trees will grow and they can spread and you'll only gain half the revenue for each tile in your territory if there's a tree on it so it's good to chop them down when you can okay and turn You can also see there's this little graph at the top of the screen which is showing how much territory each player owns respectively. Right, let's... This is annoying me, so let's get rid of him. Um, oh, and um, the barbarians can destroy villages or other soldiers. Uh, later in the game I'll be able to get even more powerful soldiers and they will um, be able to kill barbarians and uh, castles too. Now this is a castle I'm probably... N well actually I'll place one just to show you but if I place that there then um, 
nobody except a knight will be able to encroach on that territory. This guy can't make any moves, which is unfortunate. Um, okay, and turn. I love the sound effects. Actually, this game was um, originally on Windows 95, I believe. And I was really surprised to see it released on iPhone. <coughs> because it was a real favourite of mine as a kid. If I put my Barbarian here, then that guy will die next turn because um, he needs a village to sustain him. I'm quite militant about cutting down the trees because I don't want them to spread. They can be a real pain if you l let them get out of control. Um, okay. I can buy a man here. But they'll probably kill me next turn with their barbarian. And turn. The great thing about this game is it it's really fun and you can sort of play it in any situation because it's turn based you can put it down if you need to talk to somebody or do something and oh th there's the grave of that guy who was killed oh I didn't mean to do that okay now I have a knight which is what happens when you combine three men or a barbarian and and one man but anyway here's a castle and because I'm now a knight I can destroy the castle which is quite helpful actually yeah they killed my guy there so I've just got this one big territory now so let's take some more territories and end time um, one thing which I didn't really like about this game I think it would be really great if it had a multiplayer feature where you could sort of play turn based against your friends <coughs> and it is great value for all the single player levels but that would have really made it have a lot more replay value But I don't know, maybe they'll make a sequel and... Oh, I can do something sneaky here. Now I've cut their territory in half. And if I place a knight or a barbarian here, they won't be able to take it back. And I might... Let's take this castle. Which one? Let's take this one. And here. The red squares are all your possible moves, which is quite handy. Okay, and turn. But yeah, I really recommend this game. It's really, really good fun. If you like chess and like, um, sort of tactical like strategy games then you'll really enjoy this might be able to win this next turn. Uh, let's get some barbarians. Okay, no! No! and
one turn. Right. Maybe I can win this this turn. As you can see, I've got ooh, low battery. I've got tons of um, people available now because I'm getting so much money from my land. After a certain point, the other players will offer to surrender and guys I've chopped that territory in half so that knight will probably die next turn It's all about really um, strategically making use of your different units. Like you can see here, I'm using all my sort of peasants to do take over whatever land they can, and trying to use them up first, and then I'll use the barbarians because if I make too many knights or barbarians, I'll run out of money and they'll all starve and die. Okay, and turn. Hmm. I don't want these trees spreading onto my land, so I'm going to nip that in the bud. I keep saying I'm going to win next turn, but these guys really don't want to surrender. Okay. Ah, here we are. Surrender. Okay, so that's how to play Slay, and it's a really great game. I can't remember how much it costs, I think it's about $3, but it's definitely worth it. So, if you like these kind of games, then definitely get it. Bye-bye. <laughs>